Hey guys, this is Tina, just checking in with another video. I have a story that is um, in Lake Elsinore. So a friend of mine referred this story to me. It's about a man named Joseph Dorsey. So this was a murder that took place in Lake Elsinore in 2012, August of 2012, of a woman. So a woman named Christine Stewart she was murdered by a man named Joseph Dorsey. So apparently they were in a relationship. She was 47, he was 28. By the documents that I read, his accounts say that um, what happened was that they had gotten into an altercation and she had insulted him. Now, we don't know what to believe here because the story gets really grim and it's pretty gross what he does. So he then later admits to the police of what he did and how he murdered her. And so he not only did he strangle her, he then used some type of cord to wrap around her. So I can't imagine the fear that this poor woman must have felt. From what I've read, she was also trying to hide this relationship from her family. Um, likely might be because of the age and then also Christine Osborne Stewart was also known for, um, she was a helper. She was, she worked in the mental health industry. She helped, you know, uh, people with mental problems, drug issues, and things like that. I'm not sure if that's how she met uh, Joseph Dorsey. Joseph Dorsey has been sentenced now to 56 years in prison. But it's just a really sad story that this woman trusted this man and she had her life ahead of her. Yes, she was 47 going out with a younger guy. But um, then I also read there were so many counts that this guy had on him. He had already had many prior, like a record with the police of assault, um, assault and battery of like a previous ex um, these are all real cases. These are all things that he actually did do. Um, I get, one of them was an assault on a police officer. So if somebody is willing to go to that, you know, length, obviously that is something, you know, that a person is willing to do anything. This is why I stress the due diligence of doing background checks. Right now, this is about Christine Osborne Stewart, however. So... At that time, she probably did not have the resources to do these background checks, or if she did work, work in the mental health industry, and I think she did might have worked for the county or state, um, she may have had resources to check on him. So then she goes on and she dates this guy, and look what ends up happening to her. So she crossed him in a way, I guess, that obviously upset him, and he said he went into a rage and that he was trying to claim that it was a, a crime of passion. So what he did was he um, strangled her and then used a cord and to finish the job. After that, he stuffed her in a suitcase and then he drove to Poway, San Diego. So this is from Lake Elsinore, California to Poway, San Diego. And he rented a room in a motel over there, hotel, motel. I think it's right in the middle of being both. I'm not going to say the name. But I may take you by the area in the next short. So that's what I've been doing is just trying to get the stories out and then trying to get the shorts out, which should be reversed. But anyway, I will take you by the apartments. Uh, this happened because this isn't very far from me. I just found this case to be really interesting. I'm glad justice got served. I did read that the mother, um, though she is a devout Christian, has not been able to forgive uh, Joseph Dorsey for his actions. And the judge even said that he showed little to no remorse at the hearings. I'm not sure. I did not see all of the footage there, so I'm not going to sit here and make all these assumptions, all I can do is base off what um, the information that I have and the court documents that um, the things that are reported about what happened in court and the way that he responded to uh, the murder, it was just brutal. And I just can't imagine the fear this poor woman had when, you know, and being taken by somebody that she trusted. So anyways, guys, take care. I'll see you soon in the next video. 
Thanks for watching, guys. You can follow me on Facebook, YouTube, and also Instagram. Have a good day.